Welcome back to Tractor Tales. Well, Al, where's our classic iron from this week? Time we're going to the land of 10,000 lakes for a beautiful Farmall Sea. Built in 1948, this tractor spent some time on the farm. Paul Fleece and his brothers are here to share their family story of this working red. Now, this is a 1948 uh, C. Uh, this was our dad's, so we all grew up on this tractor pretty much, you know, and this was uh, basically the main workhorse for years on the farm. It had uh, mounted corn planter on it and the mower and raked hay with it, about anything that needed to be cultivator. So it uh, did a lot of work around here. This one's been all restored by a guy over by uh, Elgin, Minnesota. He's done, he did the mower and he's done a lot of my tractors already and does an excellent job on them. And priced a little higher than some, but I guess you get what you pay for, right? <laughs> That's original tires on it and everything yet, so I mean it's uh, it's pretty good for that day and age, you know. They're about 18 horse they are, you know, they ain't uh, real powerful, but for a little tractor, you know, they really uh, pull more than their weight. Had a two bottom plow for it and I think the brother Bill, he was plowing with it when he was six, seven years old, he said, so. So that tells you how far back it was. <laughs> if that's the first tractor I planted corn with, with a four row planter when I got out of high school. Dad said it was time for me to plant corn, so four row planter in the sea, you thought you had a big outfit. Yeah, I'd say it's probably my favorite one. Well, just that it was Dad's, you know, and we managed to keep on to it. Oh, I think it's, uh, you know, after we're gone, you know, I'm hoping one of the, my boys or somebody will uh, keep it around. 